All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? The um, stories of 2022. So here we go. Number five, it's a, it's a two-way tie between the summer heat wave here, not only here in the States this past summer, but uh, European countries got hit exceptionally hard. And uh, celebrities made uh, anti-Semitic statements, if it ain't Kyrie Irving, but not in the same stratosphere as Kanye West. If it ain't Kanye West, it's pretty much anybody who do something like that. Number four, the Mississippi welfare fund scandal. I talked just a tad bit about that in, I think it was Various Thoughts Volume 194 or 195, one of the two videos. I'll find it. I'll put the link in the description. It was just crazy. And I can't believe that uh, Brett Favre would find himself in that predicament if the allegations are true. Uh, number three, it's a four-way tie between the Cincinnati Bengal fans donated uh, nearly 26,000 meals to Kansas City Food Bank after beating their uh, Kansas City Chiefs to reach the Super Bowl last year. Uh, hashtag Betty White Challenge. Google letting users limit ads about uh, certain topics. And a New York family took in South Korean tourists during a blizzard. That's a really nice story. It's a positive story. All of them are positive stories. Uh, number two... <laughs> Gun violence. I mean, it's just it gotten it's getting completely out of control. And what one happened in Buffalo, New York, with the supermarket and the Uvalde, Texas, and the um, in the same month. And um, what else? It was a uh, shooting happened in Illinois during the Fourth of July weekend. So if it ain't one thing, it's another. It, it's just crazy. And number one, the Roe versus Way overturn. And I feel that women of color raise a lot of noise. If it ain't black women, it's Asian women. If it ain't them, it's Latina women. If it ain't them, it's the Iranian women raising noise because of what happened to one of their own who who died in her early 20s due to it being detained by a morality police in Iran or something like that. I'll put all the stories in the, the description. Positives, negatives. What's your top five stories of 2022? So here we go. Video games. Here we go. Um, number five, it's uh, Microsoft acquiring Activision for $69 billion dollars and that doesn't end there there's just been a lot of talking and it's somewhat controversial because people are mad and don't get me started with sony if it ain't them it's this past month i think it was 10 gamers suing i think it was microsoft i believe because of the acquisition so number four y'all know where i'm going with it g4 tv got shut down Again, I talked about that in one of my older videos last month or two months ago. The links will be in the description. Number three, do you know that survival horror video games and fighting games and sports games are carrying the video games? Do you know that? It's not Battle Royale. It's not online multiplayer shooters. It's those three genres. And let's not forget single player games or single player stories. They're not going anywhere. They're not dead. And I like that. And uh, fighting games, we all know that Street Fighter 6 is going to make its return six months months away level next year on june 2nd of 2023 23 excuse me and seems that everybody played the beta everyone loved it don't get me started with the cover art because i already talked about that so um yeah number two there's a boycott of uh, russia due to invasion in ukraine and there are developers from ukraine make video games now the event happened this past february and it's just been an ongoing ever since i'm talking about the war so i this is the first time i talked about it possibly the last time because i don't want to get in trouble with russia or don't want to get in trouble don't want to get hacked or any way stretch imagination okay now number one it's a tie you know what? it's not a tie Elder Ring, God of War Ragnarok, and I gotta put that game, that third game in there. Horizon Forbidden West, my game of the year. These games are phenomenal. They took the world by storm. Well, <laughs> Elder Ring just went bomb cyclone on everybody and uh, the entire video game world. And next thing you know, everybody and their mom and dad and children are playing this game. Even Twitch hit records in terms of live streaming and things of that nature. I'm, I'm not sure about YouTube, but um, yeah. As for God of War Ragnarok, I mean, it was being delayed at least a few to several times. When is it coming out? Is it coming out in 2022? Is it coming out 2023, 2024? I mean, what? And finally, <laughs> this past year, and I think it was in the summer, it was announced that it was coming out in, I think, yeah, in December, which it did, and it broke records. Everybody loved the game just as much, if not more, than the first game. I haven't played it yet. Uh, hopefully, I get a chance to. 
I still think the God of War 2018 was good, but not the greatest game ever made. I still think it's overrated. But I know people get mad at me, but I really don't care what anyone says. So, yeah. I mean, I'm willing to give God of War Ragnarok a, a shot. Give him a chance. See what's what. Uh, as far as Horizon Forbidden West, that's a game that my little brother and I looked forward to. And we played it. And I did a review on that. You can check it out if you want to. I'm not going to force y'all to do anything you don't want to do. Uh, it took me 93 hours to complete the game. And uh, I love it. I love the game. I think it's an excellent but not a perfect game. And I can roll with that. Um, they announced this past month that uh, Burning Shores DLC is coming. But it's only going to be on the PlayStation 5 only. Uh, PS4 players, no. Nah, you just get nothing. But the good news is we have the, um, the free upgrade. So it's not so bad. I don't have a PS5 yet. And when I do, I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy Burning Shores and I'm going to enjoy the DLC the same way I did with Horizon Zero Dawn's uh, Frozen Wilds. So, yeah. And before I go, there's some couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, the number one story in the terms of the entertainment and Hollywood and everything is definitely going to be what in the world's going on with DC comic books in the DC universe in terms of the live action movies. I mean, it, there's just so many changes happening. I mean, you got Henry Cavall who played Man of Steel as Superman. Now he's out because James Gunn and everybody else making a reboot. Okay, whatever. Then you have Black Adam. That was the most one of the most hyped movies of this year in and it bombed and Dwayne Rock Johnson, he's out. And pretty much and like I said, everybody's out except for the people who made Suicide Squad, the the sequel. It, I don't know. I mean, Henry Cavall, let me go back to him. I mean, this dude's just getting screwed over. If it ain't the Witcher, it's DC. If it ain't DC, it's both. I feel bad for him. I do. And um good thing I didn't talk about that specific story, the 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 Oscar soul slap heard around the planet earth so and a little bit of sports before i get on out of here do y'all hear the detroit lions players hollins screaming about the field of conditions in the bank of america stadium being trash because it's a hard the, the field turf is hard as a rock i guess they never played uh, philadelphia eagles um stadium back in the 1980s and 1990s oh boy yeah go ask michael Irvin. his career ended because of the in the neck injury playing due to the playing on that turf memo to the lions players and the team itself when a team, oh, especially a road team, gives up not about 570 total yards, 320 yards rushing, you have zero. I mean zilch, nada, no room to talk. Be quiet, take the L, get ready for the Chicago Bears game. The Carolina Panthers were playing the same field as y'all were. Why are you crying now is beyond me. So, shh. So with that in mind, throwing y'all a salute. What's your thoughts on the topics? I'm out. Happy early 2023.